Hey everybody, it's Mindy, and look at what I'm going to work on. Yep, I'm going to work on this cute little gnome. I started it for the um, uh, announcement video, <laughs> and I haven't touched it since. I worked on another gnome, though, I just finished today. You want to see him? I'll show him to you. I'll show you what I just finished, okay? All right, hang on. I get it. It's right here. Right here. So this one took me a couple days. I mean, there's a lot to drill on this thing, right? Happy fall, y'all. The three little gnomes, they were fun. All their hats are different. I love them. They're so cute, super cute. All right, love that one. Turned out really good, super sparkly. All right, so here's my little gnome cover minder. I did not realize when I unboxed this, it actually has string for its beard. That's amazing. I did not even know that. Wow, that's cute. It's actually got little strings. Can you see it? Little strings for his beard. He's so cute. I love him. He's so cute. He's adorable. Um, and then this is from my 3D designs, my tray. That was a gift. Thank you so much. I'm going to take the lid off. And it's got a stopper there. We'll leave the stopper for now. Um, and I'm just going to get started here. I pulled out a pretty blue pen because, you know, we're doing a blue painting. Why not? So let's get started. And we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this event. All right. Um, yeah. Everything gnomes. Gnome Vemba. It is Gnome Vemba. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to get finished, but I'm going to work on a bunch of stuff. All right. This tray is actually perfect for this because I, I'm not going to do any multi-placing for this color. Mm -mm. All right. Which one is this? Is this the L or the J? I don't know. Let's see. The L. Okay. We're doing the L. Okay. L, L comes first. All right, here we go. There's an L. Okay, so like I said, I'm just trying to do a whole bunch of stuff in the month of November. I am going to do some gnomes. Hopefully I'm going to get several done, but I'm trying to finish up some other stuff too. Puppy Craze Petunia. I want to finish her up. Um, I want to work on that Dreamer's Designs. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna do all kinds of stuff. Just piddle around, get stuff done. So, um, I've been seeing some posts on Instagram. I've been seeing some posts in our Facebook group of gnome paintings. So I know you guys have them. I know you're working on them. They're all just cute. I mean, how can you go wrong? How can you go wrong with a gnome, right? You can't. Okay. <laughs> So, um, you know, I guess here's one thing I didn't really talk about. I guess I'll, I'll throw this out to Angie earlier because earlier I'll throw this out to Angie after I'm done here because we didn't talk about who's going to give away a prize first, but I'm just going to say right now, my whip and chat comes out before hers. So I guess I'll do my giveaway first and I'll talk about it at the end of this video and then I'll let her know that she can do one next week. Um, and I don't think that'll be a problem. All right. We didn't have our dates like organized, but I'm certain it'll work. It will be just fine. Come on, get off there. Get off there. Sticky glue dot. Brand new sticky, sticky glue dots. I do love my glue dots. So somebody asked me recently under a video, what kind of, uh, wax I use or whatever. And, well, I use glue dots, glue dots in my single placer, and I use Not Your Mama's Mud in my multi-placer. Not that you're going to see me use that today, because I'm not. <laughs> um, I actually just ordered some more Not Your Mama's Mud because I have one I have upstairs and one I keep downstairs, where I still have that poor gypsy horse just sitting there on my table downstairs. <laughs> I'd like to maybe pull her upstairs someday and finish her up because she's well over halfway. You know, it wouldn't take forever. Come on, come on, hello. Get my glue dot kind of not not as sticky. <laughs> um, I would like to finish her up as well. But anyhow, um, I should have taken a picture of this and posted it in No Start November, right? I can still post Puppy Craze Petunia in No Start. I, I got plenty of options, anyhow. 
<laughs> there's so many things going on, you guys. There's so many events. Dreamer Designs is having one. My friend Sue just told me about, and I'm like, okay. She says, you should enter. I mean, you should post pictures because you're going to work on that Dreamer's Designs. And I'm like, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to get much done, but okay. It doesn't really matter, though. I guess you can just post progress picture every day, I guess, if you want. They're doing like a daily album. So, I guess. If you're interested, check it out. I don't. I don't have all the details on it, all the information, but I'm certain you can find it somewhere. I don't know. Let me know if you're interested and you can't find it. I'll hook you up. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. Just get some diamond paintings finished. I thought there was another L right there. I guess there isn't. I guess it was a J. I don't know. Okay. This is going to take forever to do this background because, I mean, look at the whole thing. All around this gnome is just L and J, L and J, L and J. It's going to take forever. It's going to be one that I probably won't finish. I'll pick away at it until I get tired of doing this, you know, this checkerboard kind of situation here. And I'll go to something else. I'll probably switch off to a, a special drill that I can finish up quickly. That's what I'll do. I'll alternate. Special drill, this one. Special drill, this one. Yeah. What are we doing over there? Racing down the road? I think they're racing down the road over there. <laughs> I think I've mentioned that I live near what we call like a country highway. It's like one of the main roads to go from small town to small town. The speed limit's like 55. Doesn't mean anybody does 55 on that road, you know. It's more like 60, 65. They go flying down the road. But I can see it right here. I'm in my kitchen today because I have puppy craze petunia in my office on the table in there. So I'm sitting here looking out the window where I can see the pond. I can see the ducks. I can see the country highway out there. You know, people were just kind of zooming down the road out there. Like I said, they don't necessarily stick to the speed limit over there, right? No, they don't. Um, anyhow. It's a pretty day out there. The sun is shining. I just let the chickens and the ducks out. It was funny. Not one chicken or one duck was out of the coop when I went out there. They were all still in the coop. I was like, okay, this is weird. Everybody's still inside. Nobody's out. Okay. I snuck up on them. I snuck up. I was real quiet and I went out there and I opened up the gate and they were like, oh, they didn't even know I was there for a few minutes. And then I just quietly walked away and then I heard them. Then they knew I was there. <laughs> I mean, you can't fool them for long, but I was surprised they were all inside. It's been rainy here and their poor pen is just mud, mudzilla. So Dale has gone out there and he has built a dance hall. That's what he calls it. He calls it the dance hall, right? <laughs> so, um, He's taken a bunch of pallets and he's just put pallets down so that they're not just wallering around in the mud. So it's the ducks. I mean, it's really the ducks making the mess because ducks don't care. Ducks are messy. Ducks don't really care if they're wet and whatnot. So, you know, there's a waterer in there for them because they need water. So there's a waterer and they just get in there and they just slosh around make a mess, get it all wet. And then of course the rain, rain certainly isn't helping at all. So everything's just super, super wet and just a big old mud fest. <clears throat> so now it's really just covered with pallets and it's what he calls the dance hall. <laughs> he was like the first time he went out there and let the ducks out and they had to walk onto that wood and that pallet, they were like, ooh. You know, what is this? What's going on? <laughs> they were all weird about it. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure they were. <laughs> but now they're used to it. And they can just, you know, walk across the pallets and they're fine. So they're fine, fine. The chickens, chickens are a little more, they don't really like to be in the mud and they don't like to get all wet. So the chickens appreciate the pallets. They know, they know wood, they know how to perch and all that stuff. So they appreciate it. Um, 
yeah, they're enjoying the palettes. The ducks were just a little like, hmm, what is this? <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good out in the neighborhood. <laughs> Anyhow, all right. Um, what's been going on? What's been going on? How are you guys? What have you been up to? Um, you know, life is life for me. It just keeps rolling on. Um, you know, started this bowling league with my girls and it's just kind of a weird thing. I mean, it's a weird bowling league for, let's just say it for what it is. It's weird. Um, I've never bowled like this before. The league is not very organized. Um, we were all on, there's 20 teams. We were all on the same night and they wanted to separate it out a little bit so it wasn't so crowded and everybody would have more room, have some social distancing, you know, that kind of stuff. So they tried to get some of the teams to switch to the opposite Thursday. So they just emailed people <clears throat> and they emailed, you know, us and told us that we were going to switch to the opposite night. Well, they tried to get other people to switch and they only got three teams to switch over. Everybody else was like, no, we don't want to switch to the other night. So there was three teams on our night. All right. <laughs> so um, then last week we went and the guy was like, so we couldn't get anybody else to switch over to this night. You can go back to the other night if you'd like. We don't think it's going to be as crowded, blah, blah, blah. And two of us, two teams, we just went, uh, we don't want to switch back. I, the other team just kind of wanted to just come have fun. They don't care about the whole social aspect. The other team wanted to go to the other night where there's more people. And I said, we really couldn't switch back because my friends, my dear friends that I worked with for years, have arranged a retirement party for me. <laughs> You know, that couldn't happen when I retired because of COVID, all that stuff. And now they've arranged a retirement party for me based around what my schedule was before I started bowling. And <clears throat> the night that they have is um, a night that we would not bowl on this schedule. Does that make sense? I hope so. So if we switch to the other night, then it would conflict. And I was like, no, I don't want to switch then because this is already planned and they've got this planned for me and I don't want to mess it up and, you know, anyhow, whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to have a retirement party. I don't think it's going to be huge. There's not going to be a lot of people. I mean, it's been a year and a half, you know, since I retired and I just don't see people from school anymore. Um, so we'll see. I think it'll be fairly small. Um I don't know if anybody from my building will come. I think it might just be my friends. I'm not really anticipating a lot of, you know, school people to come. Anyhow, it is what it is. And I will enjoy it. And I thank my friends immensely for doing this for me. They were just like, nobody was able to give you a party. You need to have a party. Let's have a little celebration. And I, I appreciate that so much that, they were thoughtful to do that. So, yeah. So that's coming up um, in November. Um, the bowling continues. <laughs> and nothing else really exciting going on. Um, we did join the gym. We had been members of the gym for years. And then they did away with the membership that we had so that our membership expired back in the summertime and we were going to rejoin but then when they told us they didn't have our membership we were like we're just going to wait then because we don't really use the gym in the summertime because we're outside so much but now that it's getting colder and whatnot we wanted to you know have a way to you know get some exercise in we don't have any equipment at home no treadmill or anything like that and so we thought it was time to go join the gym again so we got signed up last week um, over the weekend and we went back on Sunday for the first time. And all we really did on Sunday was we walked on the treadmill 
and we did some stretches. They have these this cool stretching machine you can stretch, and I thought that would help my back, and it did um, for a while, you know. But um, I did one machine. It's like this row machine, you know. You pull back and pull back like this, pull back. Okay, all I did was twenty reps, and it was very lightweight. Oh my goodness. Okay. My armpits hurt. Why do my armpits hurt? I don't know. And my lower abs hurt. I'm like, really? I thought I was doing something that would be good for my back, but what do I feel? My lower abs. I'm like, wow, I did 10 lower reps on one weight machine. And I'm like, ow, okay. Ow. <laughs> Just, am I really in that bad of shape right now? Apparently, right? Apparently I am. So uh, we're going to have to get, we're going to have to get a schedule going. I swear there was an L down here. Where did I just see it? Oh, and it was up here. Oy, I'm looking in the wrong spot. Um, so we're going to have to get a schedule going. What nights we're going to go to the gym and have a regular schedule. Sundays will probably always be a gym day. Saturdays, probably not. But, you know, then we need to pick a couple other days at least to have a regular schedule. Um... I need to lose weight. I need to get back in shape better. Um, yeah, we got to do this thing. Got to do this thing, you know? Losing weight, why is it so hard? Why is it so easy? I gained 30, between 30 and 35 pounds, depending on the day, you know, over this whole pandemic. And that's ridiculous, ridiculous. So, it's time. It's time to get serious and get it back off because I am not happy. Not at all. It's got to go. So, yep, that's my plan. That is the plan. Stan, let's get this body moving. Get it back in better shape. Lose some of this extra fat. <laughs> that's all I can say. It's fat. <laughs> and start feeling better. Maybe if I lose a little bit of this weight that I put on, my back will feel better. If that doesn't help, then somebody's got to do something with this back. It's really just one side of my back. It's the left side, and it just, it's like I hurt it or something. I don't know. I have no clue. But something's got to help it because, oh, man, I can't, I can't feel this way for much longer. You know what I mean? During the day, it gets better, but man, the morning's getting up, getting moving, and there's certain times, like I'll lay in bed a certain way, like reading a book or something, and my back doesn't like it when I go to lay flat, and it just like, bleh, grabs me, and I'm like, oh God, ow. <laughs> so, ah, it's got to stop. So, it's time, time to take control, get this, get this back in order, right? Get things back in order. It's time. All right. You know how hard it is to take drills off when you cut your fingernails off and you have no fingernails, nothing to grab? Yeah, hard. Look at all them blues. Oof, I hope you can see them. Mm. Are you in frame? I don't know. I can't tell. I think so. Okay. Am I recording? That's a good question. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> I would have hated to have been talking this whole time and not be recording. That would stink. <laughs> all right. Um... What else was I going to talk about? There was something else I was going to say. Mm. What was it? My mind just went blank. Howdy, neighbors. Neighbors are coming home. <laughs> um, gosh, I don't remember now. Okay. Well, the other thing that I think I talked about a little bit is over at the other house where the girls live has been having a problem with the washing machine, not draining. And so we were over there a couple different times and worked on unclogging or whatever and getting things working again. And it was, it was working. They managed to do like four loads of laundry or something, and then it did it again. So it started overflowing again as it was draining out. I'm like, are you serious? Are you, are, are you really serious right now? So the girls came over last night. They brought their wet laundry out of the washing machine because they just shut it down, you know. 
So the washer is probably filled with water right now because they didn't let it finish draining because it was just going to drain all over the floor. Um, so we're going to have to get over there. They put some Drano down it. Um, Shannon got some heavy duty commercial like gunk killer drain cleaner stuff because she works at Lowe's. So she got some stuff. She put it on the drain yesterday. It had to sit for six to eight hours, it says. And so she's going to try it when she gets home today and see if it did any good. If not, then I think Dale's going to go over there and try to just reroute the plumbing. Um, you know, it ties in in a certain spot and he's going to try to just cut off that, that, oh, look, let's grab some extra drills here. There we go. <laughs> There's some extras. Just throw them all on. Okay. Come on. Seriously. <laughs> That's the thing with the glue dots. At first, you really got to work with them to get them less sticky. Whoever thought you would want something that's less sticky, but with glue dots, that's the case. All right. Um, so if he has to do that, what a pain. It has a crawl space, so he'll have to go under the house and cut off pipe and you know all that. But he did that to the kitchen sink a while back and there has been no problems with the kitchen sink. We think that the plumbing maybe has such a long route that it's taking. So like, it's like doing this big U. It comes down and it goes this way and then it comes around and it goes back the other way to get out to the drain field. It's kind of silly. So rerouting it might just be the best thing and then we won't have to deal with it anymore. Crossing our fingers, I don't know. Sorry, kick the tripod. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, there's that. Um, I'm just thankful that I have a husband who can do that stuff. Yep. So, well, the other thing is it's been a week now since my son moved, got his own place. Well, not his own place. You know, he's living with a friend. Um, he's, he seems to like it. Um, the arrangement seems to be working out okay. Um, I'll tell you what, the last week was super quiet. It was just like, you know, when it's just me and Dale, it's, wow, it's real quiet. <laughs> I mean, it's quiet all the time during the day because I'm home all day by myself. So it's always quiet during the day. Except for times like right now when I talk to my friends, <laughs> talking to my friends. <laughs> but it's really quiet without Josh here, you know? Um... He'd come upstairs, he'd hang out a little bit, we'd have dinner together, you know, I'd talk about his day, you know, now it's just me and Dale and it's just kind of like, hmm, all right, <laughs> it's just, it's way different, way different, um, yeah, a little lonely, I, I definitely miss him, that's for sure, you know, definitely miss him. Um, I know it's a good thing for him, but, you know, it's hard. So it's been a week, a little bit over a week. Um, I go downstairs and it's weird. It's so bare. <laughs> it's just bare. There's nothing down there. We actually got rid of an old crappy couch that was down there even. So there's even less stuff down there than there would normally be. It's just like barren wasteland you know <laughs> I mean it's not really but it is you know I would go downstairs sometimes and I would work on the gypsy horse you know because that's downstairs and it was right in his area and but I'd sit down there and I'd work on it sometimes while he was you know playing a video game or whatnot and we'd chat a little bit and you know it gave me a reason to go down there and you know hang out for a while not no more but, okay, I'll stop talking about it. I know you get it. You get it. I know. If you are a parent of adult children, you get it. You understand, you know? Things change. Um, we always want the best for our kids, but sometimes it's hard on us. And it's just the way it is. So, anyhow. Like I said, life goes on. Life goes on. 
My husband does have a retirement date. Yep, he has decided when he's going to retire based on um, raises and things like that that he'll get at work. Um, he's going to wait for those. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you, right? If you know some nice raises are coming your way, why wouldn't you wait until you get those? So he has set a date in his head. He's going to retire on his birthday in uh, 2023. Okay, you guys are all hooked together. I don't need three or four drills. I just need one. So he's got a date. He's planning ahead. And um, he figures his retirement will be pretty nice at that point. He'll be all set. I still say he's going to need to find something to do. You know, he's going to need a hobby. He's going to need something. He is not the type of person that's just going to sit around. So he's going to have to find something to do with himself. Um, I said, well, you know what we could do? He's been watching some travel vloggers. <laughs> and I said, well, you know what? Maybe we can do some travel vlogs. We'll do YouTube and we'll do travel vlogs. I said, that would be fun. Let's find some fun places to go and we'll just vlog it and we'll make videos. And he's like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> so I don't know if that means he's thinking about it, not thinking about it. I don't know. We'll see. It would be fun though. I mean, we've done a little bit of that, not officially travel vlogging, but you know, we've gone a few places and we've done some vlogs while we've been on little vacations. It was fun. Um, it was just me doing it, really. He was like, well, I'm not going to have the whole time we're on vacation just be about videos and stuff. And I'm like, I know, I know, I get it. I know, we're going on vacation. <laughs> I get it. It's not what we're going to do, okay? But <clears throat> if he was on board and we were doing it together as a team, I think it would be fun, you know? I think he'd have a good time doing it. Anyhow, there you go. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to find the prize and I'll come back and I'll show you what the prize is going to be for this giveaway. And, uh, tell you how you can enter to win. I mean, it's pretty simple. You know me. I, if anything, I'm simple, simple, easy, fun. That's what I go for. Simple, easy, and fun. <laughs> I don't want anything complicated. I think I've said it before, the most complicated event that I run is the chuck along. <laughs> and I, it just is. It is what it is. The chuck along is what it is. It's our biggest event and it's a little special. So, um, yeah, it has some special, you know, guidelines. Other than that, everything else is just simple. You know, watch some whipping chats, post some pictures. I mean, even if you're not posting pictures, I mean, it, Am I going to know? I'm not going to check if everybody posted a picture or not. You know, that's not one of the rules. You must post a picture to win a prize. I'd rather you just listen to a whipping chat and, you know, enjoy that. And that's how you, how you would win. Right? So like I said, simple, easy, fun. That's me. Just call me simple, easy, and fun. Man, it almost sounds like a Almost sounds like a porn movie or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Anyhow, uh, keep posting your pictures. You can post them in my Facebook group, um, which is linked below. Oh, how did this drill get way over here? Who knows? It took a trip and went way across canvas. Here, find a home right there. Find a home. Yeah, so post your pictures on Instagram or in our Facebook group. Uh, Diamond Moments and Crafts, it's linked below. Oh, did you see what I just did? No, you probably didn't see it. I just dumped out all the drills. Okay, cool. <laughs> Go over there. Just stay in a pile. <laughs> I wanted to get the J's out because now I think it's time to fill in some J's. I'm tired of doing L's. <laughs> see, this is going to be, this is going to take a while because I'm going to get so bored of doing this one at a time nonsense. So post pictures. We love to see them. Um, love to see what you're working on and I'll be back and I will show you the prize. I wanted to show you some J's first. Look here. Let's do some J's. LJ. That's my mama. LJ. Yep. <laughs> All right. 
I'll be back in a moment. A flash for you, for me. It's probably going to take about 15 minutes to go gather up stuff. <laughs> All right. I'll see ya. All righty, folks. I am back, and I have the giveaway. All right? So... I've shown this already. I got two of these and I thought this will be perfect for a November giveaway, right? So fall harvest pumpkin. It's cute little gnome. Look at, there he is. And he's got his pumpkins. He's cute. I love how this came. I love the packaging in this. Here's the picture up close. There it is. He's cute. I love the, the different kinds of pumpkins. I love that, right? So there you go, a 30 by 40. Um, Check out that company. This is from Amazon. I love them. I think they do a really nice job. I, I like them coming that way. Okay. So here's some other things I'm going to throw in. And this isn't everything because, you know, I got to have some surprises. I'll throw some surprises in there as well. So let's see. I have one of these. I have several of these. And so I thought, well, let me give one to somebody. Um, it is a light pad cover. All right. It comes with the sticky to stick it onto your light pad. Um, and this just goes over your light pad and covers the switch so you don't turn it on and off all the time. So, a little light pad cover, why not? Like I said, I have several, so I thought I might as well share the love, share the love, okay? I'm gonna throw in a washi tape and I thought, ooh, this one matches pretty good. If you wanted to put that on there, the orange, right? Um, this is kind of Christmassy, but anyhow, this is from Saban. Saban's cover minders, and it's a little gnome in a truck, and he's super cute, right? It's that plastic, I love that, that acrylic kind of plastic stuff. Love it, he's cute, love him. And then a tray, and this is from Tig's Trays. Love it, love it, okay? So this is the unicorn color, love this. Look, it's got little feet on the bottom, I like it. All right, so there you go, and then, you know, I'll throw some little surprises in there because everybody likes a little surprise, some other little goodies in there, okay? So how do you win the prize? Just comment, that's all, just comment. And I will pull a winner next week in my whipping chat. Pretty easy, okay? No special word, nothing, just, just make a comment, all right? All right, um, I hope you're having fun with this November event. I think they're just the cutest things and I'm having a good time with them. They're all so fun, right? They're all different and just cute. So, yep, keep posting those pictures. I love seeing them, all right? Okay, until next time, uh, have a great day. Have a great week. Stay safe, happy, uh, stay warm. If you're up here in the northern part where we are, it's only in the 40s now. <laughs> yeah, it went from like the 70s to the 50s. Now we're in the 40s, like boom. Okay. It is November. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you just stumbled on this video and my channel for the first time, think about subscribing. That would be great. Um, now would be a great time to check out memberships because in the next couple of days, I'm going to do my membership drawing and you know, there's diet Pepsi contribution down there. Go, you know, look in that box down below, click the arrow, click that arrow down there. And there's all kinds of stuff in the description box. Okay. All right. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.